Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the unfiltered news. Ah, where political correctness is not spoken here from the reality zone, compiled by G. Edward Griffin. With its editor Cassandra Anderson and humor scout Joanne Glover and proofreader Tom Parker. This is for the week of May 24th through 30th of 2014. Keep an eye on this. There are some stars in this one. Stars indicate articles worth printing and keeping. And uh, heuristics. There isn't any this week. Camera indicates video or slideshow. And speaker indicates an audio file. So let's get going for this week's unfiltered news. News headlines you may have missed. The comic strip for this week shows the America. Uncle Scam's hat. Al Qaeda runs in one side. The input and the output is free Syrian army to Syria with a bag of money as a mercenary. Yeah, there you go. That says it all. Okay, let's start off. Georgia. Hobbsburgham County Sheriff left a 19 month old baby in critical condition after a SWAT team stormed into her home under a no knock warrant for a drug raid. Police used a flashbang grenade that landed in the baby's playpen and exploded on a pillow next to his face. And the kid has been put into a self-induced coma because the pain would be so bad for it. And it was it was like they shouldn't do this type of stuff. This is part of an increasing trend of no-knock raids where police bust into an unidentified a few weeks ago, the subject of a no-knock raid killed a police officer, injured several others, and while he is charged with murder for protecting his home against unidentified intruders. Gawker, May 30th. See, they just come up there and kick in your door, and a lot of times they get the wrong address. And when they get the wrong address, and you're not suspecting these critter critters to come crashing in your door dressed like something out of Afghanistan or Iraq military you know you're gonna you're gonna grab your gun and start shooting at them because it's like what the hell is this they're coming in there and they're firing at people <laughs> Urgh, it's just not right not in America should never happen in America that just tells you that American government is not owned by the American people it's owned by foreigners with money interest okay video Calls are mounting for criminal investigation into Veterans Administration hospitals that keep long wait times for soldiers to see a doctor. It was recently discovered that the VA hospital in Phoenix failed to even register 1,700 vets on the waiting list who were in need of treatment. The VA employee raises the and bonuses are influenced by their productivity status. On statistics, do you suppose that might have something to do with the hiding list of misrepresenting wait times? CNN, May 29. <coughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable what they're doing to the people that went to serve our country. And even if they're misguided by a corrupt government. It's horrible. Horrible. Because... I mean, if the government wanted to look legit for even with what it's doing criminally, it should have taken care of the vets. That's all there is to it. Uh, CNN, May 29. Okay, Obama issued a Department of Defense directive in 2010 that authorized the use of lethal military force against civilians. The directive states that federal military commanders have the authority to kill Americans under emergency circumstances if they are unable to get pre-authorization from the president because he is unavailable at the time, of course. We can be sure the president will not be available at the time of most emergency situations, which means local commanders will hold the power. Does that sound like a government that's for the people, by the people? No, that sounds like a dictatorship. Infowars, May 29th. A star, article to keep. 
a future reference, Greenpeace, the World Wildlife Fund, and the Center for Environmental Law has made a veil threat to sue 37 energy and cement company executives by asking them if they are prepared to face liability questions about their involvement in the climate debate. These so-called environmental groups are telling the liability insurers of these companies that they may have increased exposure to lawsuits if their policyholders publicly question the myth of global warming. In this way, they hope to silence the question through the threat of losing insurance. Bloomberg, May 29th. And if that doesn't sound like a crony operation, I don't know what is because global warming isn't happening it's not it's not people doing it and you can't give money to somebody and tell the sun not to do what it's doing right now having low solar activity therefore cooling I mean it's just, it just doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense never has they just want to take money from your pocket and put it in theirs. The government is just, you know, are, are strapped for cash and they think we're some type of cash cow. And we don't have any money. Why do you think all these stores are shutting down? There's a bunch of stores right now shutting down. There's Staples. There's uh, several, I think even Walmarts are shutting down. Because people aren't going there because they don't got no money to, to buy anything. You know, so... I mean, there's all these stores that are shutting down. I can't remember the list of them, but there's like a dozen of them. And they're shutting down. Because nobody's going there to buy anything. Because nobody has any money. <laughs> I mean, that's... And the government doesn't seem to get this through their thick skulls, what's going on. All they think is that we need the money. We gotta have all this money. From your pocket to ours, so we can be the government and tell you what to do and how to act and what to buy and what to see and, and give it all to the industrial and military complexes and give it to all the uh, corporations out there that that took out all the mom and pops. That's right. Star video. New York Times published an article earlier this week that claimed climate change doomed ancient societies around 1200 BC to famine and collapse aimed at climate change so giving them money is going to help stop climate change now let's look at the word how they're using it in this in this stance climate change yes the climate changed all the time there was a mini ice age a few hundred years ago there was a mini ice age the time froze over for for three years they had shops and stuff people ice skated to go to the stores and stuff on the time I mean this is this is this happens it's called cycles and they're trying to say if you give us money we won't we'll make these cycles go away no you're not gonna be able to make these cycles go away putting money from our pockets into yours you're just gonna get rich and powerful and we're not gonna get nothing out of this okay as usual, the story was propaganda, not history. It is true that climate change did produce drought in that period, but it was cooling, not warming, that was the cause. Also, ancient societies not only endured, but prospered in temperatures much higher than we have today. Funny how the mainstream media never gets it right. Reuters, May 29th. They never do, because they're paid for by special interest who want money from your pocket to theirs and they're paying them off to get it to lie to you the media has been able to lie to you since so uh, 1998 I think it was when these two reporters tried to report on the uh, the uh, what was that the the bovine uh, shots that were uh, hormone shots to uh, produce more milk that they found out was causing cancer and stuff and different types of ailments and humans that drank the milk and ate the meat of these cows because these dairy cows they just don't you know just slaughter them or whatever and bury them or something no when they get too old to produce milk they slaughter them and put them in your meat market and that's what you're eating okay <clears throat> you're eating all these injections they gave it 
gave to cattle. Growth hormones and stuff. That's right. Star. A panel of climate experts told the House Science Committee that politics interferes with good science at the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, and within the U.S. government. They say that scientists who question the global warming myth are harassed and smeared by environmental groups and the left-leaning media. Governments appoint the academics to the IPCC, but environmental groups direct the nominations. See, it, they may be saying, well, we'll just do this, but we're going to let the environmentalists, who are really collectivists, take over and assign the scientists they handpick, cherry pick, to say, global warming is everywhere, we're all going to die, look, the temperature's rising here and rising there, yet we've had, the, for the last three years, the coldest winters of the planet. And a lot of records were broke especially this year in the US in the Midwest so don't let them fool you you're being lied to TV is nothing but an entertainment box remember that it's this there to entertain you what you see on CBS NBC and ABC MSNBC Fox uh, CNN all of them it's entertainment Look how they, they set it up. It's like, a, it's like a game show or something when they start up and everything. And they got all this glamour and sparks and lights and all this stuff. You got to see it. You got to see Network. I keep repeating that. You got to see the movie Network from 1978, I think it was. It tells everything about how things happen. It really does. It really explains it. Okay, and that was a uh, that was supposed to be uh, dark humor, satire. It's not anymore. It's true. Okay, here we go. The grocery manufacturers of America (GMA) says it will sue the state of Vermont after a GMO laboring law was passed. Okay, if GMO is such a great thing to have, how come they're not out there advertising it? eat this it has GMO in it it's great look GMO it's in the ingredients no they're being real quiet and anyone that opposes having this stuff put in without it being on the label are being attacked does that make any sense really I mean that means GMO has a sinister side to it and they don't want to tell you from 2012 to present day, Monsanto, or Monsanto as I call it, and the GMA have successfully blocked GMO laboring in 30 states at the cost of $100 million. They're paying $100 million to, to keep labeling of it in the foods because I believe they believe that people are smart enough to know that this stuff is not good for you. Especially after the French report where they did the mice for 180 days after the 90 days they doubled it and all these mice suddenly had tumors and organ failure and they were holding them up they had pictures of them it was in an article you can look it up mice in France French study shows mice have tumors and everything after a 180 days study of eating uh, GMO corn uh, I had to stop eating corn I don't know where it's in I don't know if I'm getting non-GMO or not but the problem is it's a pesticide right and they're saturating this corn with it. They're actually drenching the corn in this Roundup. And it absorbs into the plant. And the plant puts it into the corn. And you're eating that, that, that Roundup. Well, Roundup was shown several years ago. I think it was 10 years ago. It was, they were saying that people using Roundup to spray for weeds and stuff in their gardens and everything were finding frogs with four legs. You know, three eyes and stuff of that nature. Mutations. And uh, this just means that that glyphosate is not good. Glyphosate, I think it is, is not good for any mammal, animal, or any creature out there. It's just horrible what they're doing to make money. Macola, May 27, racing with the sun. That's another thing that could happen. The sun could just suddenly have a big flare. You know, before it goes cold and and you know, knock out the power grid because the power grid's not triple grounded. It hasn't been in years. 
They don't haven't done that. They've been reinforcing some parts of it, but not all of it. It all needs to be reinforced. So if a uh, EMP does come from the sun, it won't take out the entire country's power in the world, actually, because no one's actually f enforcing their grids. Okay, next. Obama announced that 9,800 U.S. troops will remain in Afghanistan next year instead of the full withdrawal that he promised in 2012. Would anyone know if there is an extra 5,000 or so or if they are called contractors instead of troops? Mercenaries, maybe? Mm, called contractors? Mm. Why would anyone actually believe this announcement? It is more likely that the number will be whatever is necessary to protect the mammoth U.S. Embassy and corporate oil facilities, and they expect that to be perpetual, forever and ever and ever, CNN, May 27. Oh, here's, here's a lovely person, George Soros, the evil man, says he funded dissident activities in Europe, Poland, and Czech Republic. He said that on CNN that he set up a foundation in Ukraine and that is actively involved in the current events unfolding there. He just admitted that he was doing these war crimes and stuff. But since he's not in country, he had to be expedited to be tried. But, you know, Infowars, May 27. Donetsk, Ukraine. At least 100 pro-Russian separatists were killed by Ukrainian military at the airport they had been occupying. Reuters, May 27. See how they're doing that? That's not right. <laughs> they're killing these people. These are civilian people. I mean, it's just... Ooh. Ukraine, billionaire, chocolatier, and Aragoth, Petro Proshenko, was elected as president in a decisive majority. He is asking for U.S. taxpayers to fund to rebuild the army. He says he has no tolerance for corruption, but sees no problem with awarding the government positions to other oligarchs. He refuses to concede Crimea, so tensions with Russia will continue, which is why he wants a stronger army. Of course, supported by our tax dollars. Washington Post, May 27th. Again, Syrian rebels tell a reporter that they are being trained in Qatar by U.S. forces with sophisticated weapons. <clears throat> this is in response to President Assad gaining ground in the war. It proves once again that the U.S. government is providing lethal aid to the mercenaries, rebels, despite U.S. taxpayers' opposition to the environment in the war. PBS, May 26. See, mercenaries are over there. Mercenaries. Hired guns. The comic strip at the beginning. Remember that. They go in as Al Qaeda, the toilet, and come out Syrian rebels, mercenaries for a bag of money. Yeah, that's why they retreat when they're being overpowered, not because they're retreating to save themselves, but they are. They're saving themselves because a dead mercenary can't spend the money they got. <laughs> a real, a real rebel would fight to the death. As in our revolutionary war we had in America. They fought to the death. It didn't matter. Because they were fighting for a cause. These people were fighting for money. And they're not even Syrians. Video. iPhones and Androids are tracking their owners, logging where they go, including arrival and departure times. Apple says the information is held only on devices that can be turned off. This report includes instructions on how to turn it off. HLN, May 25th, and you should check that out if you have an Apple device. Or on a uh, Android. Go through and find out how to turn that off. See if it works. All right, U.S. drug companies are enlisting Medicaid doctors who have a record of writing many prescriptions to market psychotropic drugs to foster children. Now, now they're going after foster children, not just the school children where the nurse uh, gets their child on one of these psychotropic drugs, makes $2,000 for, for the school per child. Yeah, money to be made. Drug company doctors and the government all make big money in this program, but the kids are victimized, of course. Denver Post posted May 25th. 
Okay, video, UK, Nigel Farage, the outspoken leader of the United Kingdom Independent Party, UKIP, that opposes mass immigration and integration with the EU, won a 27% majority over both Labour and Conservative Party candidates for the Parliament. The popularity of UKIP is growing rapidly. It is the first time that Britain has had a viable third party in over a hundred years. BBC. May 25th. See? Even he's winning over there because everybody's starting to see how corrupt the government is in the UK. Another conspiracy theory is proven correct. Barclays Bank, one of the five banks that sets the price of gold twice a day, was fined $44 million which was a, light, light, a really light slap on the wrist for manipulating the prices of gold to avoid paying a futures contract. Barclays recently left the gold fixing group possibly because the fraud is much deeper than this one case and further investigation is not wanted. Zero Hedge posted May 24th and that's what's going on with because here's a related article about how they're manipulating the silver and gold prices. How to manipulate the price of gold. This article explains how the price of virtual digital gold was manipulated by Barclays trader James Pluckett on June 28th, 2012 in what is called a mini puke. <laughs> like that. It was a sudden placing of a large sale order causing a drop in market prices just before the end of the day price fix. This price was slammed down to slightly below the level that otherwise would have required Barclay to pay out 3.9 million to the holder of the futures contract. The next day the bank placed a buy order of the same amount to restore its account. They're, they're playing Rob Peter for Paul, and then Paul robs back, gets robbed by Peter back to Paul, and vice versa. They go back and forth with this. It's a digital manipulation that it appears that there's stuff coming and going when it's the same item being moved back and forth. Kind of like what they're doing with the the Reserve Federal Reserve when they're, they're when Germany and everyone wants to see their gold they go well you have to wait a couple of days and they just open the door up and say see there's your gold and then the next person says well we gotta see our gold well you gotta wait a couple of days and they move the gold to their royal chamber and then they open the door up and say see there's your gold and they've been doing this this is it's a manipulation back and forth for the gold it's amazing what they've been doing how amazing okay that's how the price of gold is manipulated by the banks. Chris Powell, another related article of GATA, the Gold Antitrust Association, says that the Barclays case obscures the fact that although banks manipulate the price of gold for their benefit, governments acting through central banks do the same thing, only more so. Instead of placing buy and sell orders, governments issue gold leasing contracts. In both cases there is little or no real gold involved. It is based on paper contracts or paper gold that they that as they are bought and sold in the market have a drag along effect on the price of real gold. Governments are motivated to suppress the price of gold to make it difficult for the public to measure the true level of inflation and to keep them content with the national currencies that are losing purchasing power. Gotta May 24th. That's not the only thing. All I had to do is go into the store and see over the last month prices going up by a dollar or two on stuff. I mean stuff that used to be or oh, a gallon of milk at one time just a few months ago you could get a gallon of milk for a dollar ninety nine. It's now Two ninety nine, three forty nine. It went up that much. Uh, beef, beef went up. It just skyrocketed. I mean, some steaks I saw in the stores. I, I went to a couple of stores and started checking on some of these steaks, like porterhouse and stuff. They're like thirteen dollars a pound. Unbelievable prices on this stuff. I mean, and. Bacon. Well, bacon used to be able to get bacon for $1.99 a pound. Well, hell, we'd be lucky to get it for $4 a pound. 
I mean, it's just you just go around and start looking at prices. Even even stuff I was buying in electronics and stuff have went up. Stuff that was getting cheaper are now going up. And they're, I mean, it's just showing that the money's so inflated. They printed so much of it that there's no value to it anymore. I mean, uh, I think of it as a silver dollar was one ounce of silver, right? Or you know, it's like one ounce of silver. Okay, I have to now. At that time, you could trade it. At the time, you know, say 1950s, you'd give a dollar for a dollar, a piece of paper for for a silver dollar. Now you have to give about twenty dollars for that same twenty pieces of paper for that. I mean, that should show you how inflated the money is when it went from a silver dollar equal to a, a paper dollar to now twenty pieces of paper to equal the same silver dollar. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And all you have to do is just start thinking about it and you just go, wow. Alright. Let's go on. Video. Australian engineer student Edward Lancier uh, invented an inexpensive device to passively collect water from the air to irrigate crops. He wants to bring his invention to parched areas of the world. Forbidden knowledge. Tw May 24th. I don't know. There's a pro also a group of people who gener made a generator. It's as big as a, uh, a small fridge, like a top open fridge, that once it starts up, it goes forever because it produces so much energy. It feeds back into itself and keeps itself going. And it has modules on it that if a module goes bad, you don't have to shut it down. You just unplug the bad module and stick in a new one and just let the thing keep rolling. There's videos out there you can see on YouTube of that device from Australia. And it's just absolutely amazing. What we could have. You know, it's enough to power. It's like a, uh, I think it was a 25. No, it was a uh, 15,000 watt generator is what it was. Enough to power your house, basically. Okay. In California, video, Public Utilities Commissioner Michael Peavy uh, cursed and yelled at a ratepayer advocate who asked why electricity customers are being billed for the $3.3 billion cost of shutting down the leaky San Onofer nuclear plant instead of the investors absorbing the cost. When appointed bureaucrats like PV implement policies financed by the public and then reject questions and accountability with impunity, the system is broken. Absolutely broken. Box 5, May 24th. Here's a picture to take a look at. Uh, oh, I did have one. He asked her. It's a picture of interest, rural interest. Water bridge in Germany. And you've seen it all now. A water bridge over water. There you go. Ingenuity at its finest. That's that's just amazing. Anyways, analysis for this week's. It's commentaries and look beyond the news to identify historical facts and trends that help to place the news in perspective. Here we go. Video. The EPA is posed to regulate any and all moving or standing water on private land, even puddles under the so-called Clean Water Act. This is a veiled way of confiscating private property because landowners will be denied control over their land and fined into bankruptcy for minor violations. Fox News, May 30th. This is, this is what they call feudalism. They're trying to get you off your land so you have to rent the land somewhere else and they'll turn around and rent your land that they stole from you or sell it off to an earl type of millionaire or, or a goth. This is what they're doing. They're taking the freedom of having ownership of land away from us so the few have it and the many live on it. Feudalism. Look up the word. It's what we're going to worldwide, I believe. Okay. Yeah, this is collectivists at their finest, EPA. And it's also part of Agenda 21. Anyways, video judge Napolitano agrees with Edward Snowden's comment that doing the right thing may f fall outside of what is legal. Well, the founding fathers were considered traitors by the King of England because they didn't agree with what was called the right thing. 
and we had the greatest country in the world created imagine that Fox News May 29 okay here's a good audio Tom Woods interviews Dale Bellis or Bell Ellis I guess a director of Liberty Health Share about how to legally avoid Obamacare. Here you go. Here's how you can avoid Obamacare altogether. Health Share is exempted from Obamacare because it is a member based in shares medical expenses rather than insures them. It's less expensive than insurance too. Very interesting. Tom Woods, May 26. That's right. It's like a conglomerate where you pay in and you're paying in cheaply and if one person gets sick well it comes out of the hole to pay for that one person but then if you get sick it comes out of the hole and pays for you it isn't that you're buying into an insurance you're buying into a conglomerate of people who invested in it it's kinda like the auto insurance thing where you can if you pay up ten thousand dollars or have the money escrowed away that if you get in an accident you don't have to have insurance if you have ten thousand dollars because most states on their minimum is five thousand for property damage and five thousand for injuries now I mean if you got ten thousand you can stash away you don't have to buy insurance in some states Ohio is that way Ohio you don't have to buy insurance if you have money to cover the cost and all it has to do is cover minimum uh, coverage no, you don't have to pay any insurance for all your life. You know, a lot of people pay a lot of insurance. I mean, five hundred dollars a month and stuff if they have three cars or something. I mean, it's just outrageous depending on their, you know, how old they are and whatnot. Uh, okay, let's go on. Why war is inevitable. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts explains that wars always have been used to take away liberties. Examples. During the American Civil War, President Lincoln held 14,000 political prisoners, shut down 300 newspapers, and ruined states' rights forever. Long-term wars ensure long-term tyranny. He says that Putin is relying on Europe to stop supporting the U.S. war machine, and then concludes that war is inedible because they serve the needs of the tyrants. PCR, May 25th. He's absolutely right. Serves the tyrants. And we got tyrannical governments worldwide, including here. Because we have a president that don't listen to the people and starts telling you that if you don't start, start following what we're telling you, there are going to be problems. I mean, when you have a president come out and say something like that, you start worrying, and that's when you start worrying about a dictatorship coming upon us. And, uh, okay, because we're supposed to be over the government. It's it's God, the people, then government. Government's supposed to be on the bottom. Well, the government's put itself on top. Put the people right underneath it, and then threw God down in the cellar, locked him away. About what he did. That's about what the government's done. Uh, anyways, video. G. Edward Griffin refutes the claim of an investment banker who says the Federal Reserve has prevented boom-bust cycles and averted depression since its inception. Full disclosure posted May 24th. Apparently, this uh, investment banker has not read this book over here, The Creature from Jekyll Island, or he would have not said that. <laughs> that book will tell you everything of why we're in the situation we're in today. An amazing book by G. Edward Griffin. Video. A three star general, Daniel Blogger, says the U.S. wars in Iraq and Afghanistan has cost Americans 6,800 U.S. soldiers' lives, 2 trillion, and the dead is still climbing. The general says that counterinsurgency invasions of other countries last for decades and deployments last forever. No insurgency war has ever been won. The wars in Islamic countries are not over religion, he says, but over loss of freedom and human dignity. The fundamental problem is that the installation of authoritarian dictators, which is the essence of American foreign policy, commenter David McKnight says that Thailand's military that overthrew the government has 
detained over 150 former politicians and activists. He draws a parallel to the U.S. government's reauthorization of the NDAA, or the National Defense Authorization Act, that allows for American citizens to be indefinitely detained. This analysis is chilling look into the near future regarding dictatorship in the United States. Prison Planet, May 24. Chilling. It should be chilling. It's chilling the parallels are going on right now. And that's it for this week's headline news that you may have missed. There will be a link to this newsletter in the video at the bottom. And you'll be able to go here and read these articles and find out for yourself what's really happening, what's going on. Here is something you don't see very often, the cool down period. A cat and a bunch of birds, and the cat's not eating the birds. <laughs> well fed cat. Only thing I can say. Oh I'd read this this uh humor this humorous thing here. But it's it's a little long. Ah, uh, maybe I will. Let me see. A husband went to the police station to file a missing persons report for his missing wife. Husband, I lost my wife. She went shopping and hasn't come back yet. Inspector, what is her height? Husband, I never checked. Inspector, slim or hefty? Husband, not slim. Inspector, color of eyes. Husband, never noticed. Inspector, color of hair. Changes according to season. Inspector, what was she wearing? <laughs> Husband, not sure whether it was a dress or a suit. Inspector, what was she driving? Yes. Or was she driving? He goes, yes. Inspector, what was the num number, name, and color of the car? Husband, black Jaguar with supercharged 3.5 liter V12 engine generating 333 horsepower teamed with an 8-speed uh, Tiptronic uh, automatic transmission with manual mode. It has a full LED headlights which use light emitting diodes for all light functions and it has a thin scratch on the front left door. Inspector, don't worry sir, we'll find your car. In other words, he was more married to the car than he was to the wife. <laughs> uh, here's another picture to look at. There we go. Sister under the skin. Check to enlarge. Uh, we've got this gal at her. <laughs> nice picture. All right. This is uh, un the unfiltered form. The name sensitivity disorder, or NSD. Find out about that. The name of the horses, uh, Barry, Harry, and Nancy. <laughs> the name of the horses they came up with in this contest. Uh, okay. Okay, and then you got the reality zone classifieds. All right, don't forget to check out the books, the Federal Reserve, a disclosure. And uh, it's a, like a follow-up to the book of uh, The Creatures from Jekyll Island. Uh, don't forget about the cancer cure, the forbidden cures. The second Dallas. Dead Wrong about children and uh, pharmaceuticals. Laetrile, Laetrile Case Histories. World without cancer, imagine that. Uh, why in the world are why in the world are they spraying geoengineering and weather control shows about everything it proves that actually they are chemtrailing and it's it's very strange because there was a video I saw it was put out by I can't remember his name now I'm ascribed to him but I actually show proof through radar of this real cold area where where these chemtrails couldn't have formed and they were just all over the place there and it's basically uh, absolute proof by by satellite okay until next time hope you have a wonderful weekend and a glorious night because it's now 9.52 eastern time and I'm going to post this and Finish up watching some shows and movies I was going to watch. Till next time, be good or be good at it. And good day.